Nation, what's going on guys? Just want to make an update on the Rolex, share my experiences with it uh, from a travel perspective and from a personal perspective, you know, my experiences, what it's been like out and about and uh, traveling. So, um, Boston right now, just got back from California. We'll be going back to California and doing some more traveling. So let's get right to it. So having this watch on the wrist for the last two months, what are my experiences? And just to recap, this is a 2018 Rolex GMT Master II in root beer, uh, two-tone. And I gotta say, uh, the last couple of months have been uh, pretty crazy. Aside from the fact of uh, being engaged, which is amazing to me, I'm very excited. And that's the main purpose of this watch, is to represent that. Uh, my experiences have been pretty unique. Uh, this is my daily watch. I, I do wear it every day. It is dirty. It is already scratched up. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So getting to the point, my first experience with this watch was nervous. Very nervous being out in public with this watch. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, with as much as this watch cost, I mean you can look up the retail on it, it's definitely not cheap by any means. I didn't know what to expect. So I was very cautious. I kept it covered up most of the time. I didn't know if people knew what it was, if they didn't know what it was, if they knew what it was worth, so on and so on. Eventually, you kind of get over that. Most people that I, from my experience, don't care. Um, they don't care what kind of watch you have unless they're watch enthusiasts. Uh, then they're going to recognize it and you might bring it up. So the first experience I got where somebody recognized a watch is they gave me some pretty odd looks. Um, maybe I didn't fit the image to them as to what type of person that would own this. I, I honestly have no clue. I didn't ask, um, but I caught them looking at it quite a few times and just gave me some odd looks. Kind of like they wanted to say something, but they didn't. Um, the second experience I got from it was just from family and friends. Uh, you know, this excited for me that I, that I purchased a watch and they knew how much it meant to me. Um, and just just experience of uh, happiness and then recently I had the experience where somebody did recognize he had the Hulk and he had no idea what this was he hasn't been in the loop you know with the newest and latest and greatest and you know I can't say I don't blame him I, I don't keep up with every single thing that comes out and he had never heard of this uh, two-tone rose gold so he was pretty excited about it and uh, you know we exchanged watches checked them both out and it was the first time I actually had a chance to hold the Hulk and feel it, and uh, it's a lot lighter. Obviously, it's not it's not so solid, solid uh, two-tone uh, rose gold, but um, beautiful watch. With that being said, I'm not currently looking for another watch. Um, it's not something in my budget. Uh, if I do, it'll have to be for another special occasion. I want the watch to have meaning. I don't want to just buy another Rolex just to have it. So, most likely if I do get another one in the future, I will be going back to Saxons in Bel Air, Maryland. Uh, they have treated me just absolutely amazing. They don't, they didn't judge me whatsoever and still have it to this day. So those are my experiences so far. Uh, when I'm in the airport and I'm traveling, yeah, it gets nicked up. The GMT function, I use this all the time. It's currently set for uh, uh, California time. Uh, Boston, I don't have to really change the time. It's uh, pretty much, it's the same time as it is back in, uh, where I live at but um yeah I'm gonna keep on using it and uh, I mean it's been <laughs> I've worn this thing to the gun range as you can see in one of my previous videos uh, I wore it to the gym uh, I've, it's been rained on I mean you name it so absolutely love it and when I want to dress up this thing pops you know what I'm saying it just you can wear this as a dress watch you can wear this as an everyday watch again you just gotta be very cautious of your environments um, you never know who's out there and what their intentions are. And um, that's it. I'll keep you guys posted on my uh, traveling blog. Uh, any more travels coming up, I will make some more videos on it. But until then, if you guys are in the market and you can find this watch or actually get a hold of it, uh, definitely pay retail for it if you can. Um, the gray market, the values are absolutely insane of what they're going for. But if you can find a trusted AD, I would highly recommend picking up this watch. So, I'm signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, update, and I'll talk to you guys soon.